6.30 a.m. Just pulled up to the gym. Check out that sunrise over there. That's uh, it's a pretty nice view, but uh, feeling really good. Well rested, went to bed early. So about to head to the gym. Then to Quinnipiac, we've got a long day. Film, practice, and then I'm getting on the road. I'm gonna take you through the day. Normal vlog, throw in some tips, tricks, all that good stuff um, throughout the day. But yeah, 6.30, starting the morning off nice and early. Best way to do it is with a workout. All right, good little workout. About 7.30, 7.45 right now. Headed home, shower up, breakfast, coffee, and then on the way to start the day. iPad, the best thing about going to the gym, cardio, everyone should get an iPad. What is up guys? We are back with a voiceover real quick over some practice footage. I know you guys like to see some of the drills and some of the stuff we're working on. So this is a quick drill that we've been doing at the beginning of a lot of our practices. It's basically just another variation of two on one. So basically the defense starts in the middle. They pass the ball side to side to the offense running both wings. They go as far down until a coach calls go. So it could literally be to the free throw line two steps or we could make them run all the way down to the other, other end line if we feel like uh, really pushing them in the beginning of practice. So it's pretty random. That kind of adds the element of it not being scripted is they don't know when the play will start or stop. Um, it's good for everyone. Our bigs are going to have to handle the ball in this, which we're a pretty versatile team, so we want our post players to be able to handle, make decisions, passes, and then again, it works on getting back on defense, playing two-on-one in that cat or mouse situation. The goal for the defense is not to give up a layup, make the defense take a tough contested jumper, and then you got to choose one guy to box out. So we play until there's a score or the defense gets the ball. Um, again, a good warm-up drill gets everyone loose, gets the decision-making firing early. This is two on one here we go back to the vlog all right guys just finished up eating dinner just sat down in the desk I actually moved my desk from upstairs in my bedroom downstairs to my living room I live by myself so I can pretty much do what I want it's kind of nice but now I've got the desk set up down here I gotta tighten it up a little bit um, but my bad habit of just trying to do work in bed um, and having my desk up there it just became more of a cluttered space. So I really need to separate the workspace from the sleeping space. So having it downstairs um, in like the corner of the living room has been way better for me in terms of productivity. I have been on a streak and getting into the habit of making sure that if I'm on my computer, I'm at the desk. I am not upstairs in my bed because the focus, it's too hard to focus when I'm in bed. I start falling asleep and stuff. So I've uh, really tried to differentiate those two uh, workspaces and two areas of my apartment. Um, but right now I am working on the Rider Scout. I finished the Mount St. Mary's Scout earlier today. We played Rider not too long ago. So I just rewatched their game against Manhattan. Not too much is different. So um, that's nice in terms of, you know, kind of knowing what to expect going into the second time that you play a team. Um, you have those tendencies, those play calls, all that good stuff. So working on that. Um, we have a big road trip this weekend, like I said. So we're going to Mount St. Mary's tomorrow night, which is a five-hour trip to Maryland. Um, play them Thursday night. And then we are heading right to Ryder. So staying on the road, just checking into a new hotel in Jersey on our way back up north. So play Ryder Saturday. So Quick turnaround, again, we always play Thursdays and Saturdays. So, you know, we take it one game at a time. We're never talking about the next opponent um, until, obviously, that first game is done. So never talking about Saturday's game until we finish up Thursday. But at the same time, if it's your scout, you got to be prepared. So planning ahead, but, again, never talking to the team um, more than one game ahead. So that's what I got going on right now, just drawing up some sets, going to finish up watching some film, have both of these things printed, done, ready to get on the road so that when I'm at the hotel, Hotel. I do not have to worry about printing anything. I don't have to worry about last minute stuff. Um, so just always trying to be ahead of time, prepped, ready to go. So here is an example of what our scouts look like. This is nothing relevant. I'm sure Dawn Staley does not mind us sharing, me sharing her 2016-2017 um, playbook from what our coaches did scouting in the Sweet 16 game. So 
as you see, this is our software that we use fast draw to drop all our sets. So, you know, whatever the other team is running, there's a ton here. We've started to pare down. We don't do this much anymore, but in the past, you know, every play and you're, you're literally using the arrows, the actions and kind of drawing it all up. So that is what we do for every scout. We still do give our players physical copies of a scout. I'm trying to see if I have anything laying around in one of the future videos. I'll show you guys an old scout. Um, but basically we are drawing up plays, filling out personnel, um, tendencies of each team. But yeah, we are giving our players physical copies. They still have access to the mobile video as well. So if they want to go back and watch anything that we show them, um, in the film room, but we like giving them the paper so that they can write down what they need to, they can study it. Um, so we are definitely still old school that way. I know a lot of programs have just gone totally digital, um, nothing paper, but we feel like we do a pretty good job scouting opponents and uh, doing a lot of prep work for it. So it is a lot of work, like drawing all this stuff up. There's no question. But at the end of the day, like for me, kind of just being new to it all, drawing up the sets and having to do the work of drawing them up on fast draw helps me remember the plays for when we go over the scout portion of practice. Um, and you got to know those plays like one, two, three. So getting the reps of drawing it as annoying as it is. It's really helpful when it comes to like just writing something down and having it, uh, you know, memorized. So I will credit that um, there's without a doubt to uh, being able to remember the plays a little bit better just because we have to physically write them out. So that's what we got. But uh, yeah, just working on this probably for the next hour or so. Gotti, no phone. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you guys are really lounging. This is a good one. Oh. Come on, someone make one now. <laughs> it's just PH and Joe, right? Three. Four. Just stand there just in case. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Maybe for two of us. <laughs> 
All right, just finished up practice. Heading to dinner now. Had a good one. It is Friday. We play Ryder tomorrow night. So had a big win yesterday at Mount St. Mary's. Heading to a nice little team dinner. Check in later. Skips, three ball for Grisdale is good. Rebound for Jackie Grisdale. Boy, LaBarge is not shy and she's got three. Yeah, because so much size on the floor. Caverly shovels to Morris for two. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. We are back home now. It's actually a week after um, these games. So we just came back from Siena. Only one game left now in the regular season. And then we are off to Atlantic City, New Jersey. That is probably the next video you're going to see. I'll try and get a day in the life in there somewhere in between. But until then, it will definitely be the MAC tournament vlog um, to wrap up the season and hopefully come out on top. We'll see what happens there. But the league has been all over the place this year. Obviously, Iona has been the consistent number one. So they are the team to beat heading into the tournament. But uh, everything else is kind of up for grabs which makes it really exciting um you got to play your best basketball day in and day out so thank you guys for watching as always hope i gave you a little bit of behind the scenes on what a road trip is like what scouting reports kind of look like how my how i plan my scouts um in advance so i will definitely continue to talk about that stuff drop a comment on any topics you want me to cover specifically um i really want to provide value along with just documenting my life but want to make sure these videos are helping entertaining informing educating some form of that um, and not just, you know, just about me. I want to make sure that I'm helping you guys. So again, thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one.